emphasis. One is we must have a prosperous mind. In 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, Apostle John is telling us that he prays that you will prosper even as your soul is prospering. It's very important to understand that the foundation of your financial success is not your diploma, it's your mindset. It's not even your job, it is your mindset. If you have a poverty mindset, this mindset will attract only problems in your finances. There's nothing wrong with having poor wallet, poor bank account, but when you have a poor mind, you become a magnet that attracts bad things. What does it mean to have a prosperous mindset? It means we don't have to think on the level of our wallet. You may be poor financially today. Make sure you're not poor in your mind. Make sure in your mind you're constantly filled with thoughts that God is my provider. Many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him out of them all. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not lack. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil. My cup will run over. That your circumstances do not determine how you think. God's word determines how you think. Somebody say amen. Having a prosperous mind mean also, also means to maintain a positive attitude in the face of hardships. What does it mean to have a prosperous mind? It means not to think on the level of my current situation and to constantly have a positive attitude in the face of hardships. Positive attitude is actually a simplest definition of what faith is. It's to be positive in your attitude in the midst of challenging, difficult or lingering situations. Your attitude in life will determine your altitude in life. If you want to go higher, you cannot do that with a bad attitude. Bad attitude is like a flat tire in the car. You can't go very far until you have to change it. You have to change the tire if you want to go far. So is bad attitude. You can blame your financial problems on the job, on the president, on your family but one thing you are responsible for is your mindset and your attitude. Nobody likes to have people around them. A boss does not like to have employees. Even in the family it is extremely difficult to live with the person with a bad attitude. It's almost like living with somebody, please excuse me, who keeps on farting. You can see bad attitude but you can smell bad attitude and you can sense bad attitude. When somebody walks with a bad attitude and you tell them you have a bad attitude, this will they'll tell you. No I don't. Show me a proof. It's kind of like showing a proof that who keeps releasing gas. You're like you can't point to anything in the ground but everybody smells it. It's like here this person walks into the office with a bad attitude and everybody goes like this or everybody goes quickly hiding. If you have a bad attitude and you blame it on your circumstances. Until you change the attitude, God will not change your circumstances. Can somebody say amen? amen. A prosperous mind is having proper thoughts, it's pro having proper attitude. But a third thing what it means is to have a proper speech, proper words. You can use your words to describe your situation or you can use your words to change your situation. And many people use their words to describe their situation instead of using the same words to change their situation. The scripture says when the earth was full of darkness, God used his words not to describe the darkness. God didn't go into saying this is so bad, this is so hard, this is out of order, this is a mess, the devil is all around this mess. No, no, no. God used his words to change the situation. He said let there be light and the Holy Spirit took those words as the material with which he built the earth you and I walk in today. Your words are the material Holy Spirit will use to build your destiny. The question I want to ask you, what kind of material are you giving it to Him? If you're constantly saying about your life, I am poor, I'll never amount to anything. Things never work out for my family. God does not want to bless me. Things never just work out for me. We will always be like this. We'll never have enough. You're giving the Holy Spirit material. Say Holy Spirit, can you build a life of poverty for me? And here is some more material. Here is some more. And you supply so much material that the Holy Spirit builds a beautiful fortress in your life. But that fortress will not be something you will enjoy. 
God cannot build a life if you are destroying it with your own words. Prosperous mind means three things. Proper thoughts, proper attitude, and proper words. 